Welcome guys, hope you're all doing really good. I just wanted to bring you along today while I open up some packages that I got from Sweetwater. This video is mainly gonna be focused on the symbols that I purchased, although they are part of a bigger order, so we'll go through all that as well. But yeah, I'm very excited, so let's get right into it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the very first box I have. I believe this is just a bunch of small accessories I had, so let's take a look. Good old Sweetwater stickers. Okay, I lied. Looks like we're going straight into the symbols. So the first set of symbols that I got are some Peisty 602 Modern Essential Hi-Hats. And these are 15 inch. And I just kind of wanted something, you know, not, not too small. I feel like 14 inch nowadays is a little small for the use that I mean, that I'm gonna be using them for. And I feel like 16 might be a little too big. I feel like this is a good in between to where I can use them for just about anything. This is my first time trying Peisty, so I'm very excited for them. So yeah, these are beautiful. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Now it looks like we're straight into another symbol. So this is kind of an effects symbol that I wanted to get. And I hadn't tried any Minel symbols actually up just up until recently at our church that we got a uh, Minel Byzance Dual Crash, I believe it was. So from there, that kind of piqued my interest because that uh, crash sounded really good. So from there, I kind of wanted to try some stuff from them. And just a side note, I'm not really particular to any one company. I'm more so whatever just sounds good is what I'm gonna use. So yeah, you'll be seeing a bit of a mix today. So let's open this. This is the Luke Holland Baby Stack. I had really been enjoying using stacks at our church, opposed to splashes or other effect symbols. So this is what I wanted to go with this time. And sorry about the mess, I'm just gonna throw the boxes everywhere and I'll clean it up afterwards. It comes with a certificate and everything, wow. And again, this is the Luke Holland baby stack. It seems like it's one or two effects splashes stacked on top of each other. And I'll show this to you really quick. There we go. So this is the top of the stack. It's a Byzance like effects symbol as well. And then here's the bottom. So that's the baby stack. So, so far I have the 15 inch hats and this Luke Holland baby stack as part of the symbol set. And I really got a full set of symbols today. The only thing that I didn't get shipped was my ride. The ride I think I'm getting at the end of February and that's because they're just uh, super back ordered. But I got, I believe, two crashes, one effects crash, this effects stack, and the hats today. So yeah, let's keep going. So the next thing that was in here, not symbol related, just something else that I got with my Sweetwater order this time, is I got an Arturia Mini Lab 3, which I'm super excited about this. I think it just came out recently, and I actually have their 88 key version, but I just needed something uh, that I can take on the go with me. So yeah, that's what I ended up getting. If you guys want to see anything about this board or have a more in-depth review, uh, let me know and I can do that. So let's keep going. The next thing in the box was just some small accessories. I got a 2U blank rack panel. I need to fill up some of those spots in my rack, so that's what I got this for. I got some gaff tape. I got a little, very large roll. I didn't realize it was this big, but it'll come in handy here at the studio just whenever I need to you know, tape some lines down or stuff like that. And then the last thing here that I got was a Yamaha cymbal clamp that I can use with my cymbals. And really I wanted this for the stack so I can kind of place it wherever I felt like I needed to. So yeah, Yamaha clamp. Let's keep going on to the next box, I believe. Yeah, this one's empty, so let's get to the next ones.
Yeah, so just like I thought, this is one of the stands I had ordered. I had really wanted, like, just like a laptop tray to have here in the studio. I've been having some of my friends come over and they run a lot of their VSTs and whatnot off of their computers. So more and more I've been needing just like a standard laptop stand. So that's what I ended up getting this for. Nothing too exciting, but just, you know, little stuff you need around for whenever people come record. But yeah, let's get into the next box. This will either be more symbols or more stands. Let's see. It does seem like this is the box full of stands. So I ended up just getting two DW3000 series boom stands. Really, I just needed them because of the new symbols. But these are great so far. They're on their cheaper end of DW's line, but they've been working great for me. I haven't had any problems with them. None of them have fallen over at any point. So yeah, I've been using these pretty much exclusively on the kit that I have. I believe these are my fourth and fifth set of stands of pretty much the exact same stand that I've gotten. And yeah, these are great. I believe they're only about a hundred bucks and they're, they're awesome. All right, let's move on. This last box should just be the rest of the symbols I had ordered. There should just be three crashes in here, two Sabian and one Minel. Tons and tons and tons of bubble wrap. So first out of the pile, we have my HHX Complex 19 inch thin crash, which I have loved using these crashes. This, these are what um, I fitted the kit out at our church with, the complex crashes. We don't have this specific 19 inch one, but we have the 17, the 18 and the 20. So I thought I would get this one, that way we have a full collection between my stuff, my personal symbols, and the church symbols as well. So yeah, I've been loving using these. I feel like they fit very well into just about any setting that I've put them in. And that was really what I was trying to shoot for with all these symbols, is being able to play just about anything and everything with them, as far as when it comes to church music. And yeah, these have been incredible. I would definitely give these a, a shot if you guys are looking into some new symbols. The next symbol is actually a part of the exact same line. I wanted to have matching crashes, so I ended up getting the 20 inch HHX complex thin crash as well to match with the 19 inch. This one we do have at our church, but I enjoy it so much that I don't really care. So my main two crashes are gonna be the 19 and the 20 inch. But yeah, love this crash as well. And the final symbol I have is the Byzance Dual Trash Crash. Which I have used the regular version of the symbol, which is just the Byzance Dual Crash. And I love that symbol. And I, I wanted something a little faster. The 19 and the 20 inch that I have are a little lower in pitch and maybe they're just not as, as quick. That the attack on them isn't as quick. So I wanted to have one kind of effects crash to fill in that spot whenever I need it for something a little quicker. But yeah, this is my first time using Minel in my personal use, so I'm very excited to try this and the baby stack out. It's kind of my effects crashes and stack. But yeah, let's clean everything up now. So this is everything that I ended up with. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll probably be doing a few symbol demos and reviews as you know, I start to use these more and I get more familiar with them. So be on the lookout for those here in the next week or two. And whenever my ride shows up, I'll do a review of that as well. That's actually the in the same line as my hi-hats are. I got the 22 inch Pisces 602 Modern Essentials ride. So I'm very excited for that as well. So as you can see, I kind of got to mix a little bit of everything. So yeah, I'm very excited for them. And again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon.